Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we are doing a transfer case rebuild. This is an MP231. We're gonna do a rebuild and put it in my Jeep. If you guys haven't been following the LS Swap project, what I'm gonna do is take the 231C transfer case and mix it with the 231J, but I don't wanna confuse you guys. So basically, I'm just gonna do this video on the rebuild of the 231C before we get into rebuilding and creating our own transfer case. So let's get started. Get on there. Should be one more right on the bottom. This has got a good layer of silicon on there, so one good hit, we can pull that right off. As I got zoomed in right now, as you can see, if you get to this part right here, if you don't have the special snap ring pliers, this is gonna be difficult for you to get it off. And it's that snap ring right where my finger is pointed. So this is the snap ring pliers you're gonna need to get that apart. I'm gonna try a different approach. Come on, get in there. There we go, finally. Have to try a different angle. Moving along, need to remove the speed sensor. That's how your speedometer gets a signal to see how fast you're going. That's a one inch socket. You need one inch wrench. Remove that. Remove the bolts that go around it. You can pry here. I think, yeah, over there. Tap it. And you'll be able to get that cone off. Gonna tap this lightly. Remove the sensor. There you go. Do something with some leverage. Come on, there we go. Slide over top. So now that we got the cover off, we got another one of those snap rings that are not our friend. And this is your gear for your Speedo. There is 40 teeth on there. So if you're doing an LS swap, it's important that the signal's off just 40 teeth or you gotta buy signal converter depending on how your swap's going. But I may do something with this later on. But first what I need to do is pull the snap ring off, lift this gear off. This is your oil pump here. And then we can remove the bolts on the outside and pull this front cover off. Let's see how this one here is gonna come. Probably not that good either. This one's actually a lot weaker than the other one. So this one here will come off a lot easier. Come on. Just a little bit more. Come on. There we go. This should just slide off then. Just when you think you're done, there's another one. Come on. Why are you stuck in there? Come on. Come on, you bastard. 
bastard. The rebuild kit doesn't come with new ones, so you want to try to use some finesse the best that you can so you don't damage them or distort them. There. Now we go ahead and start removing all the bolts. Come on. Why won't you grab? Oh, it's probably too thick. The impact socket that is. Last bolt is kind of tight, so I'm using a 3 8 to a half inch adapter to make it fit. And it seems to be a long one. Perfect, all the bolts are now out. There's a couple places you can pry. One is right there, and the other one is on the other side right here and that's how we're going to split it i got this chisel oh yeah using the pry marks there's another one underneath here yeah that's good not too much effort and then we should be able to, you want to be careful, you don't want to damage the mating surfaces. There is lineup dolls and everything else. So you want to be careful. I'm um, stuck. I'll just hold it in the back. So this is your oil pump here. Oil pump shouldn't be an issue. Might be just be trying to work it up slowly. Come on. Come to daddy. Come on. Look at all that crap in there. That's not good. Something shredded in there. Everything should just come right out. I'm on. Come on. There we go. Feed around the oil pump there. Now oh, why isn't the why didn't the oil pump come off? That's what I want to know. The oil pump should have should have came off the first time. I'm just being stubborn, I guess. Gonna need to investigate what that is. So we got the cover off, and this is where you want to start paying attention where things are. Like you know, we got the spring here. We got a magnet down here. It's gonna collect everything. The screen is all full of silicon and everything else. We gotta take care of that. So now we can start pulling everything out slowly. We're gonna make some room on this table here. So at this stage, you could probably work the shaft out, but what I'm going to do is we're going to flip this around for right now. A couple things I want to do is I'm pretty sure this input shaft right here, this output shaft I mean, is held in place by snap ring. And while we're taking that apart, we might as well pull the bolts off of that as well. All right, if I'm careful, I might be able to. There we go. That's what I thought.
All right, just as I suspected, one of those snap rings is in there too. We need to get that out before we can pull the shaft. This has got the same style of snap ring, but I find just use a regular pair because you can get in there because it's recessed. And if you spread her open enough, you should be able to slide her right off. Got a hook in there. So I hooked it and I got it. I could probably go back to using this one. Fully get her out now. It's just so tight. So tight in there. Now we go about pulling these out. chain this is your shift fork one of the plastic pieces just came off I got the transfer case split gears are out now you want to pay attention the rebuild kit comes with these this one here is already broken now if your transfer case is missing these plastic pieces or they're all broken you probably realize that it's shifting funny so I'm just gonna take this case pick it up move it over here for right now it's one shaft this is the other one and I got another one of those snap rings right there that nobody likes we're gonna need to pull apart and then the main shaft itself will just pull out of that section oh yeah this one's gonna be pretty tight too try to get in there with these pliers So close. I'll use this radiator pick. Maybe. There we go. Bastard. Take that apart carefully. Excellent. All right, inside the transfer case. That's your detent ball for your shifter right down there to keep it in gear this is your planetary we're going to pull this section out and flip it around there's also a snap ring down there but that one's really easy to get out theoretically should just come right out just like as so plastic looks like it's still pretty decent on there we'll set these aside right on the corner Probably pull that snap ring out while we're at it. And use a screwdriver. I just need to get in there somehow, lift it. come out because it's bolted from the other side so let's just flip this around i will take those bolts out
There is a mark to pry off of right there on the corner. You can see it, there's one right there, there's one right there. And you want to pay attention when you go to reassemble it. Somebody probably filled it full of silicon. We'll have a better look once we slide this out because this should, this should, planetary should come out now. I don't think, no, nope, there's one more snap ring holding her in. There. It's off. Slide sucker out. Now it should come out. Planetary is out. This is what I want to point out when you take this cover off and you want to make sure you don't get too crazy on the silicone you put it back in. You see this groove right here and you can see right there silicone has got all around it but that's so that when the oil comes in here it helps lubricate the bearing it can drain. Right there once I removed the silicon that was on there that's why you got to be careful try not to block any of those off I hope you guys enjoyed the video this is just part one of the transfer case rebuild because there's lots going on. It's too much to do all in one video, especially dealing with those snap rings, taking everything apart, what to look for. So in the next video, we're going to start rebuilding it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you had any questions or comments, post them below. And I want to thank you guys for watching.